ba yan? Uh, good news dahil nga itong uh, SIM card registration ay naisa, naisa batas na. Kahapon ay nilagdaan na ni President Bobo Marcos itong SIM card registration. Pero ay ito ay kinundin na ng Kabataan Party. Sa katotayan, ito yung uh, sinabi nila sa kanilang uh, page. Maraing uh, sinabi nila dito, bagamat daw ay sabi nila dito ay hindi daw ito mga hindi daw ito itong uh, SIM card registration ay hindi daw ito hindi daw ito mapigilan ang krimen sa madaling iyon daw ang uh, dalilan daw mapaikutan yan ng cyber criminals at uh, sinabi pa nila dito na nilabag daw ito yung uh, mahalagang kalayaan ng mga Pilipino sa kanilang data privacy at ipinahamak daw ang personal uh, data ng mga karaniwang mamamayan. Marami daw marami daw silang uh, kinukundi na yung Kabataan Party List sa pagpasa ng batas na ito at uh, pinag, pinapanawagan nila na uh, sa malawak na hanay ng kabataan na uh, at masang Pilipino na para sa kanila ang karapatan tutulan ang SIM card registration. Pero alam naman natin kahit anong tutul ay ito'y naisa batas na gaya ng gaya ng ID system, national ID system, di ba? Ng national ID, tinutulan din nila noon yun, pero nasa batas din. Di ba? So, gaya nitong SIM card registration ay naisa batas na rin mga kababayan kahapon ay pinirmahan ni President Bobo Marcos. So, panoorin natin itong maiksing video ni President Bobo Marcos sa ginawang uh, pagperma mismo. Let's go. The sale and distribution of subscriber identity module card or SIM cards to promote end user accountability and prevent proliferation of mobile call scams and data breaches. The President may wish to sign the document. We invite everyone to face the cameras for a quick photo opportunity. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Once again, we invite everyone to face the cameras for a quick photo opportunity. So, you know, Rita, and Jandin, si Vice President Saro Duterte, and Jandin, si Sobere. Yung uh, tapos nandiyan din yung leadership ng uh, leader ng House Representative. Diba? So, yan mga kababayan ay batas na. At uh, alam naman natin, eh, maalma yung tutol dyan talaga. So, ganyan na lang ating video. At good morning. At uh, it's the next video mga kababayan. May sila ng ating video ha. 3 minutes, oh, 4 minutes na. Curb the spread of spam text messages and scams. We will soon be able to provide law enforcement agencies the tools needed to resolve crimes perpetrated with the use of these SIM cards, as well as providing a strong deterrence against the commission of wrongdoing. Under the SIM Card Registration Act, every public telecommunication entity or direct seller shall be required to demand end users of SIM cards to present a valid identification document to validate their identities. These telecommunications entities shall also be required to maintain a SIM card register of their subscribers, containing information required under this law. It also mandates that they submit a verified list of their authorized dealers and agents nationwide to the National Telecommunications Commission 
with updates every quarter of the year. To cover all users of SIM cards in this act, telecommunications entities are mandated to ensure the registration of existing prepaid SIM card phone subscribers within a prescribed period. Failure to comply results to the grant of authority for telecommunications entities to automatically deactivate services to the specific SIM card subscriber under the force of law. The use of false or fictitious information, the use of fictitious identities, the use of fraudulent documents or identifications to register a SIM card shall also be dealt with by appropriate penalties. Crucially as well, included in this crucial piece of legislation are provisions that make paramount the protection of confidentiality and data privacy rights of subscribers which shall begin to take effect at the point of sale. Any information in the SIM card registration shall be treated as absolutely confidential unless access to this information has been granted by the written consent of the subscriber. These public telecommunications entities shall only be required to disclose information contained in the SIM card upon a duly issued subpoena or order of a court upon finding of probable cause. They can likewise be compelled to do so upon written request from a law enforcement agency in relation to an ongoing investigation that a particular number is used in the commission of a crime or that it was used as a means to commit an unlawful act. Appropriate penalties shall be imposed for any breach to this confidentiality due to negligence for spoofing a registered SIM card, for the selling of stolen SIM cards, and for the sale or transfer of a registered SIM without complying with required registration. So I commend the legislators from the House and from the Senate for uh, coming up with this timely and necessary law. We, it is the first legislative measure that successfully passed the approval of the bicameral panel of both houses in the 19th Congress. Truly, the legislation is going to be welcomed by many of our people, especially now with reports of uh, the commission of various crimes using mobile phones including proliferation of tech scams and spam. Indeed, with the signing of this law, we set the important tone that it is our national policy to ensure that technology shall only be used to improve our people's lives. Moving forward, it is my hope that we will be able to enact even more measures to help bring forth the security, progress, and prosperity that we aspire for, for our Filipino brothers and sisters, and for the entire nation. Thank you, at mabuhay tayong lahat. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Mr. President. A round of applause, please.